Welcome, welcome, happy November, everybody. I hope you are having an amazing Friday so far. I thought I'd come in and not only promote the November color challenge, but I wanted to give you an idea. Because you guys know, I love sharing all of my crafty ideas with you guys. So, if that's something that gets you super duper excited, and there is a prize, just saying, um, if that is something that excites you, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button. For those of you that are new, I am Jennifer. I'm not only here to inspire you, but I'm here to tell you and show you and encourage you to try all the new things, you guys. All of them. Because I know that you can do it. All right, you guys. So I have... Whoa, I forgot to grab the picture. Dang it. Come on, Jennifer. <laughs> all right. I was busy checking um, to make sure that everything was available that I'm using. Because, you know, I don't like using stuff if you guys can't get it in case you get super duper excited about it. All right. So here is the new November color challenge, you guys. It's Pecan Pie in Lost Lagoon. And yes, you can add in a third color. I'm going neutral. So come on, let's see what kind of fun Friday we can have. All right, you guys, so I have a menagerie, a fun menagerie, but a menagerie of things. So I have the autumn leaves dies, which we are going to be using my mostest, mostest favorite sentiment, this one. And we're probably going to be using a leaf for the inside. I haven't decided which. And then, of course, as you can see here, we're not just using the stamp. We're also going to use the dies. And you guys, I bought this as a bundle last year. Used the heck out of it. Used it so much, you guys, that the I'm having problems getting the papers to pull out, right? We all have our favorite things, right? All right. So I am also bringing in the leaf fall embossing folder. And I haven't done the embossing folder yet, and you'll see why in just a minute. But then I also have the last thing. I'm going to be using the Blooming Pearls for our embellishment. Woo! Quite a little list there, you guys. And, of course, my pecan pie ink. So you'll see here, I have some scrap pieces. This is the other thing, you guys. I want to encourage you to embrace the scraps and use those puppies up. I have, and you guys, let me just say that the challenge is not the layout of my card or the sketch of my card. The challenge are the two colors together. They need to be the primary colors on the card, the pecan pie and the lost lagoon. So you can add in other colors. It doesn't have to be just one. It can be as many as you want. But I want the pecan pie and the lost lagoon to be the predominant colors. Okay. So with that being said, let's take a look. I, have, I haven't I have done this card before, this type of card, in a long time. I shouldn't say that I haven't done it. I haven't done it in a long time. So I'm thinking that it would be super fun. We're going to glue this on here. I'm going to glue this on here. Okay, kind of like a fracture card, right? Normally they do it with designer series paper. I'm doing it just plain. So I'm going to take my scrap piece here and I'm not going to do glue on the whole thing because I know I'm going to end up cutting some off. So I want it here on the edge and I think we could probably go all the way to that corner. 
So there's that. And then I'm going to take the second piece here. Same, same. We're going to put a little bit of glue. It's a brand new glue. Why is this giving me a problem? And I think I want to go south, you guys. I want to go with just a little piece. And there is a reason for that. So that is our fracture structure, right? Then we're going to take our big girl scissors and we're going to cut these edges off. And don't forget, you can use your alcohol wipes if you got too much glue like I did. Too much glue. But I think, I don't think I got any on there. Be careful when you're using your big girl scissors. You don't want to cut your finger. All right, so there's that. Now, ooh, do we like it like that? Or do we like it like that? Hmm. Okay. Here's where the embossing folder comes in. And if you, you guys, this is an online exclusive embossing folder. It was in a catalog. Don't even ask me when. I have no idea because I don't remember. <laughs> Do we, oh, I like it like that. I like it like that. Oh, isn't that pretty? Okay, so we made the fracture part and we're going to put this through the embossing folder. Now, you guys have seen that before. I'm not going to make it suffer through that. But I'll show you the sandwich just as a reminder when I bring it back. Obviously, this embossing folder, you need a full-size cut and emboss. And it's your number one platform, your embossing folder, 3D embossing folder. And then your gray plate goes on the top. Okay. And then you get that. Isn't that pretty? I like the texture. All right, so now we're gonna do some stamping. And I wanna do, you can see my dauber right there. I wanna do a little sponging on our leaves. And I'm surprised I didn't do the, I'm surprised I didn't do the elm leaves. Hmm. And we have to do some stamping. And you guys, I don't know that I want to use that. I may want to put that on the inside. I'm not 100% positive. You guys, very indecisive today. I think I'm still recovering from my upset tummy from the other day. And I know that sounds ridiculous even to me. All right. So, I need my... Oh, my stamp or my block for that and a bigger block sorry you guys bigger block for that all right so now pecan pie my dauber and we're just kind of sponging it up a little do, 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 with our pecan pie kind of bringing out some highlights. I think I might just do a little bit on this one, make it look kind of like a newer color. I don't know if you guys remember. I don't remember if it was, I think it was Lost Lagoon. When Lost Lagoon was an in color. You guys, we had the most gorgeous, the most gorgeous designer series paper for fall. And I did a bunch of stuff with it. I loved it. I don't know what it is about Lost Lagoon. I am, and, I, and I'm, I'm going to say, you guys, this not blue to me. It's not green to me. But I'm not a huge blue fan, so I don't know what the story is with this, with this Lost Lagoon. I just love it. Okay, little turning. Oh, I think we should do that around the edges on that, too. 
my indecisiveness. Because you guys know, I like, I like sponging my edges. If you're in the studio, we call dirtying it up. Get a little highlight on some of these other leaves. Remember that leaf? That was a die cut and a stamp. I don't remember when that was. Was that last year? I know Paula had that set. Okay. <gasps> Love that. Love it. A little dirty. Get a little darker. And a little bit darker there. Okay. So there we go. Now, I'm going to bring in my healing mat because I want to make sure, because that's a distinctive stamp. What does that mean? For those of you that are new around here, distinctive means with one stamp, you're going to get some different colors. So you see the lighter color there with the darker color? Yeah. And it even goes the same way there. And I'm going to do that there. And... <laughs> I didn't want to do it the same way as that one, but oh well. There. And then we'll do first gen there. Alright, so... First generation, second generation. And all I did was go around and I like using my healing mat with these distinctives because you get a much easier texture look. Can you see that texture? That kind of gritty pattern, I like that. And it comes in really nicely for our, um, comes in really nicely when you use a healing mat. Okay, so here's the thing. We've got our four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base. And I like this going this way. And I really like bringing in these leaves. Dun, dun, dun. Hmm. Ooh, I do like that. Okay, we're putting the sentiment on the front. I wasn't sure. You always got to check. And the thing is, you guys, I'm not putting anything as far as the sentiment on the inside. Autumn teaches us change can be beautiful. That's our sentiment. You guys, out of all the sentiments that Stampin' Up! has at this present time, this one and the Sending Hugs are my favorite like all time favorite. Because I say hugs all the time. So that's why I like that one. And that one's Rachel Tessman's stamp. But it is, it is just, I love that stamp set. Anyways, use it all the time. You guys know the layering leaves is the name of it. Love that one. Love the punch for it. And I love this. Look at the inside of that, you guys. Isn't that just pretty? I love that pecan, that dark pecan pie with the... Oh, so pretty. Okay, so now let's glue this because I'm going to glue this on because I want to use dimensionals. I want to use a lot of dimensionals. So we're going to put this... on here in the middle and I want to say you guys that this is a three and three quarters by five let's double check nope three and a half by four and three quarters that's why I have that big reveal so it's three and a half by four and three quarters and this is a half inch strip isn't that pretty just like that you guys oh Love it. All right. So now I'm going to add this. 
kitty fur. And I'm not going to dirty this up because I want that sentiment part to pop off the top. All right, so let's look. So we're going to put, and I like to make it look like the leaves are actually falling and getting stuck in stuff. I love that. And then we can put this one like right on here, like that. And I have an extra, I have an extra. We'll put that on the inside. Because then I don't have to put it in the bits and pieces, you guys. Which, it's been a while since we've done that. But, I think we're overdue also for um, some Stump the Teacher. We haven't done that in a long time, you guys. We need to do a Stump the Teacher for sure. There. And this one, oh, it's already in there. It ain't going anywhere. All right. So there is the front of our card without our embellishments. So here's where the embellishments come into play. So there are some more Lost Laguni colors, and then there's some more like Lemon Lime Twist colors. I want to use this color and maybe... I think just the Lost Lagoon colors, but let's take a look and see what we can get here. And you guys, don't be afraid to embellish your stuff. Real, oh, can you guys see that? Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, so pretty. And then we'll go there. And there. I think we're going to do some more. Because I got to be honest with you. I am loving this. And I know not everybody does a lot of dimensional or a lot of... Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, not everybody likes a lot of embellishments, you guys. I'm going to bring you back out. But oh my God. You guys, that's so pretty. So you can get a really close look. But look at that. All right, you guys. So here is the color challenge. Lost Lagoon and Pecan Pie. Oh, that just makes me happy. That just makes me happy. Oh, we got this other leaf. I think we're just going to stick it right there. There. Beautiful. All right, you guys. So here is your color challenge, Lost Lagoon and Pecan Pie. And you guys, I will try to do, I think we'll try to do at least one or two more using the color challenge just to kind of spur your creativity. But you guys tell me in the comment section, what do you think about this color combination? Fun? Not so much? You're going to try it? But Jennifer, what is the prize? You guys, the prize is a brand new pack of these embellishments. I have it. Let me go grab it so I can show you. And you get this first, um, this first card from her. Oh, shoot. Well, I thought I had those. Oh, dang it. No, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do butterflies. I thought I had that one, you guys, but I don't. So you're going to get brass butterflies as your prize from me as a thank you for participating. So what do you have to do to get the prize? Here's what you have to do. And actually, you guys, I'll let you pick. Do you want the Blooming Pearls or do you want the Butterflies? Maybe we'll do two. Hmm. It's going to depend on how many people participate. Here's how you get the prize. There is a post that posted today over on Facebook 
where I am telling you about the November challenge. And, you guys, I will share that through periodically throughout the month so that it is a reminder to you. Because let's be honest, you guys, holiday season is coming. Yeah, life's going to get busy, right? I know. I've got team meetings and two craft fairs and oh my goodness, all the things, right? All right, so with that, you guys, I will post reminders. And I, I you guys, I set alarms for myself to post the reminders. But anyways, um, you have to add your photo to the original November color challenge post. And then I will do a random draw. And that's how we're going to choose the winner. So I hope that you can join us. I hope you have an amazing weekend, you guys. I will see you live, I hope, tomorrow, Saturday morning. Have a great day getting crafty, and I look forward to seeing you then. Bye, guys.